Hello and welcome back to another fabulous day in the art room. Uh, today is the second lesson of the year for my third grade friends. Last uh, art class that you were here, we worked on our elements of art. We're learning the elements of art, all right? And we, of course, reviewed that line. We've been using that for a long time, but you know that there are different kinds of lines, different things you can do with lines all that goodness. Uh, texture, okay, that's when you're adding uh, those little lines or dots that uh, kind of make that whatever you're uh, adding it to, give it that detail that makes it look like it would feel um, like you could reach out and touch it. And it would look, uh, uh, it would feel the way that it looks, all right, so like rough for the tree bark, fluffy for the owl feathers, all that goodness. All right, so today moving along our palette, we're going to be working on form and value, yes, form and value. All right. So, um, the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you how to draw this box. All right. To make that form. Normally, uh, if I was doing this in the classroom, normally you'd use your sketchbooks and you're like, Mrs. O'Neill, what's a sketchbook? Well, normally when you're third grade and up, I give you a little booklet. Uh, I make these sketchbooks myself over the summer. I basically staple some paper together and make you a little book, um, where, uh, you would get to like keep all of your sketches and they kind of, they're kind of like, uh, when we're learning a skill that we're not quite going to do like a full art project on, but we still need to learn a skill. Um, they're really helpful or or say that we're all working on a project and you finish uh, the project, you complete it before anybody else does, you would then earn some sketchbook time where you get to actually like go in there and kind of do your own doodles and that kind of thing, uh, or I'd give you a sketchbook challenge. Uh, so normally this would be something that we put in our sketchbooks. Um, so all you need is a pencil and a paper uh, for right now, since uh, this is how we got to do it now. All right, get a pencil and a paper and we're going to make this form. All right, so form, as you can see, is when we're looking at something and it is three-dimensional. It's looking a little more dimensional, right? Three-dimensional. So we've got the sphere, we've got the triangle, we've got the box, we've got this kind of cylinder here. I'm going to show you how to do the um, box over here um, so that you can kind of know, like, hey, form is when I'm making something look dimensional. I'll show you how to do this. Um, and then value, uh, when you're looking at value, value kind of goes hand in hand with form. As you can see, part of how I'm creating that dimension is I'm using different values uh, on this box. So this part is light because that's where the light is hitting it. This part's a little bit darker. And then this part's the darkest because that's the shadow. And you can see that on the sphere really well, too, is that that's where the light's hitting. It's going a little bit darker, getting a little bit darker until it goes to that shadow. Okay, so value goes hand in hand with that because value is when you're using a color, the darker to light that you go, that's the different values within that shade. So maybe it starts really dark and um, I usually like to do the, these kinds of projects with colored pencils. Yay! Because colored pencils are do a really good job and pencils in general do a really good job of, um, you can really uh, get into them with the value. It just doesn't work as well. I have markers, unless you have the fancy art markers, it doesn't really work very well with those um, crayons, things like that. So as long as you've got a pencil, you can at least do the um, black to white kind of value. Um, if you have colored pencils, uh, you might want those today uh, to get those out today to kind of do your value light to dark. Okay, let's get started. So to make this box, I'm going to go ahead and use the whiteboard. You're of course going to be using your paper and your pencil. Start by making a square. You are my third grade artist, so I know you can make a square for me. All right, make this square. Cool. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to start on the same two sides right here. So this side and this side. So you got to start on the same, like these two points, but they're on the same side. So if you want to do that side, you pick those two points because they're going that way. I'm going to pick this side. I like this side better. So I'm going to go <laughs> to uh, these two points right here. So whatever side you pick, you got to do both points, uh, top and bottom corner for that side. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by going a little line, kind of going at a diagonal right there. I'm gonna make that pretty dark line so you can see it, all right? And then same thing up top. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a little line going up. So both these lines are kind of going at a diagonal and they're kind of going up a little bit, yeah? You got that? Don't stress over it. If you're like stressing out, you're doing it wrong, okay? Don't stress out. This is just practice, okay? If we were in all in the same room doing this together, you'd be in your sketchbooks and we'd just be practicing and I'd be like, look, it's not a big deal. Just do your best, all right? That's what I care about is you trying. All right, so <laughs> next, 
up and down line connects those. Oof. I don't like how I made that. I'm going to erase that and do that again. See, teachers make mistakes too. It's good for you to see. But I'm like, mm, you know what? And artists do that all the time. Artists are always saying, you know what? I don't like how I did that. I need to erase that and try again. So I'm making my lines a little bit darker so you can see them because, you know, we're on the screen, but you should be drawing this kind of lightly if I didn't already say that. All right, connect it with an up and down line. Boop. All right, so we got the side of our box. We need the top of our box now, okay? So on top of our box, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. I'm going to draw this line from this corner, okay? So I'm at the top of the box, this corner. This line's going in just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. And then I'm going to connect this point and this point with a straight across line. This becomes easier the more you do it. Say it with me. This becomes easier the more you do it, All right? Just like anything else in life, anything that's worth chasing in life is going to take you a little bit of practice to do. Yes, friends? So it's okay if, uh, you know, if you're like, oh, like, I don't really, you know, I wasn't very good that first time. Okay, I wasn't good that 10th time or 11th. Keep going because eventually you're going to get to a place where you're like, you know what? That looks good. I like that one. I'm proud of me. I worked hard on this. So Anything you do in this life, you're going to need to do practice, all right? So practice, all right? Practice this box as many times as you need to. Watch me. Now you have me. You have the benefit of having me on video now, so you can watch this as many times as your heart desires to try and try to get this whole box form thing, okay? Okay. All right. So we started with the box. I'm going to go ahead and say, because we've got a little bit of time, all right, uh, I can see that I'm doing pretty well on time right now. We're going to go ahead and also add a little pyramid to this. So I'm going to show you how to do the pyramid too while we're at it. So uh, on your same paper, he can go ahead and draw a triangle, right? Boop. Make a triangle. All right, start at this bottom corner. And you can start on that side too, going that way. But like, you know, like I said, I tend to choose this side. Because I do. Um, go ahead and draw a line at this corner. It's a diagonal line pointing up. All right. Next, I'm going to start right at that corner where I stopped. And I'm actually going to go, actually, you know what? I'm going to switch up the way I do it. You get to watch the process mid-sentence. Mid Good for you. I'm going to start at this top, and I'm actually going to come down to that point. There you go. Voila! A sphere! Yes, we have just mastered form. Yes, the more you do this, the better, the easier it is, my friend. The easier it becomes. All right. Uh, you know, and I usually, you might be, you might have been wondering, uh, Mrs. O'Neill, why do you have an ice cream cone on your definition of form? And that's because I tend to explain it this way when people ask me about form. I tend to say, um, making something three-dimensional with form is like the cherry on top, which is why it's got a little, you see, it's got a little cherry on it, right? It's the cherry on top of your, uh, drawing because I could draw a box or I could draw a triangle and, you know, you'd be like, okay, that's a square, that's a triangle. When you add form, you add that dimension to it, that's taking your ice cream cone to the next level. That's adding the cherry on top where people, not only are they gonna say, oh, okay, that's like a, they did a good job with that square, that triangle, they're gonna say, whoa, that person's an artist. Look at how dimensional that looks, All right? So that's the form piece of it. So that's why, if you were like, why do you have that? That's because I like to explain it like that because that's how I think of form. All right, so it's that cherry on top. Now, value, okay? Let's talk about some value. So we talked about how there needs to be, to create that dimension, there's going to be shades of like going from light to dark with a shadow, all right, to really create that form, all right? Um, so what you're going to need to do is take your pencil and go ahead and make that shadow. And I'm going to start, I'll start with the box. And the shadow, because I'm going to say that the light is hitting from over here. So let's say that my light source is over here. I'm going to draw a little sun. There you go. Beautiful. That's my light source. It's coming this way. All right. Um, so I'm going to say the light's over here. This is where it's going to be dark, which means the shadow's going to be over here. Okay. Because the sun's over here. That means shadow's going to be over here on this side. Okay. So what I'm going to do is this. Watch. I'm going to take my pencil. I'm going to start here. I'm going to go out, across, back in. You might say, 
Hey, so Neil, that shadow's kind of short. Yeah, because shadows kind of get shorter or elongate based on the time of day and all that goodness. You might stand in a spot at a time of day and see your shadow and it's kind of shorter. And then sometimes you might stand and see based on the sun's position, your shadow might be really nice and long like you're a giant. Okay, so that's part of your shadow. And then right here for the pyramid, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and draw that shadow too. Maybe this one's long because it's longer in the day and this one, right? But that's your shadow. So that's the part that you kind of shade in. So that's going to be your darkest of dark. So whether you're using a colored pencil or just a regular pencil, that's going to be like a dark part, the darkest part. So you're going to press down as hard as you can. This next part that I'm going to show you, I can't actually really nail that using whiteboard markers. Um, you know, just because the whiteboard markers, like we said about markers, markers just don't tend to uh, do such a great job with value unless you have um, really, really fancy expensive art markers. And even then, that's just with paper. It doesn't really work very well. I don't really have anything for the whiteboard. So, all right, this is how I'm going to teach you. Okay, I've got my own paper here. Ooh, my own paper. Okay, when I tend to teach value, this is how I start it. Okay, so I start by giving everybody a ruler. Don't sweat it if you don't have a ruler, but if you do, take your ruler and you can go ahead and trace it to make a box. If you don't have a ruler, no sweat. Just draw a long skinny rectangle. That's all this is, is a long skinny rectangle, all right? So I drew a long skinny rectangle. I drew two of them to show you different ones, but I drew a long skinny rectangle. Go ahead and draw a long skinny rectangle and then divide it into four boxes. So just one line, two line, three line, all right? That way you've got four boxes all connected. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. If you need to pause the video to do that, go ahead and do that. All right, uh, in my first box is gonna be the darkest, so I'm pressing down. So that's how you do the difference between value. I, I actually made this little palette and I the only difference between from here to here, this is the same pencil. What, Mrs. O'Neill? Yes, this is the same pencil. I just pressed down really hard and then I pressed down lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter till I was barely, barely pressing down at all, okay? That's the only difference in value. You're using the same tool the whole time, really. You're just, how hard you press down on it is different. So I'm gonna press down really, really hard in this first box because this is gonna be the shadow. This would be the shadow here. Uh, press down really hard and then in the next box I'm gonna go a lot lighter so I'm gonna say okay it's not gonna be my lightest of light I'm still kind of close to you can see I'm still pretty close to the shadow but I'm not pressing down as hard I'm gonna lighten that up a little bit all right so dark lighter I've got to go this next box I've got to go even lighter than this so you're going lighter than each shade that you've done before okay even lighter. Look at that! All right, I'm actually going to leave this last box white because that's the spot on your form. I'll use the here, this one. Um, the, that's the spot on your form where it's like just completely like that's where the light's hitting. That's the lightest part. Okay. You didn't know you were getting a sweet lesson on shading, did you? Yeah, surprise. It's exciting. <laughs> All right, all right, so that's how we do that. If you were doing the colored pencil, the colored pencil works the exact same way, friends. All right, so I'm gonna use green, why not? All right, press down really, really hard in that first box. Press down a little lighter. Press down even lighter, and then the white space. Bam! All right, that's how your value works. Using the same tool, you're just pressing down at different pressures. You press down really hard, you get something really dark. You press down lighter, you get something lighter. Okay, so that's how that works, uh, you know, in terms of form. So here we go. I'll do this pyramid real quick. Boop. All right, so in terms of form, we've drawn the pyramid, for example. All right, I would draw my darkest is my shadow. All right. That's the darkest of dark right there. All right, uh, my light source is over here, you know, so I've got that little, draw that sun, all right? And then 
on this side, because this is the side. So the, the sun is like facing it, right? This side right here where the shadow is has to be a little bit darker. So I think I'm going to pick this shade right here because that's a little bit, it's not as dark, but it's pretty dark. And look at that. There we go. So that gives me a little bit of that form, that dimension. I want you practicing that. Same thing for the box. I was going to draw that box. Go ahead and make one real quick. Box. The shadow, just like we did up here. Our sun is over here. All right. Just like with this, all right? So that's my shadow. It's the darkest of dark. I've got to look up here and say, okay, uh, this side is going to be kind of uh, darker. So I'm going to choose this shade for this side right here, okay? It's getting a little darker because that's the side that has the shadow. Perfect. The top of my box is going to be really light because the sun is hitting it, right? So the top of my box is going to be pretty light. And then I'm actually going to start from the corner over here. And I'm going to do this shade that's even lighter in that corner. And look how just by adding that in the corner, I've added a little bit more dimension just by adding that little scribble in the corner. Okay. And I've made form, dimensional form using value. Yes. Yes, indeed. Now, you might be wondering, oh, Mrs. O'Neill, this is a lot of technical skill that you've had me sit through. <sighs> Where's the fun part? Here's the fun part, friend. After you've nailed form and value on your little drawing there, here's the fun part. You get to choose in that box that you drew what's in the box. So surprise me with what's in the box. If this is the one, if this is the lesson you want to, one of the lessons you want to turn in, one of your three lessons you'd like to turn in before October 15th, all right. Uh, to me, remember, that's only the friends that are at the school that where the mascot is a tiger. So if you go to the elementary school where the mascot is a tiger, all right, then you should turn in three assignments uh, before October 15th. You're gonna take a picture of your art, send it to me through email, remind, uh, you know, those are some good ways to uh, find me. Um, so, so, all right, this awesome box. You're going to surprise me with what's in the box. So if this is something you want to uh, turn in, take the picture of it, send it to me. But don't forget to first add what's in the box uh, to it. So maybe you're like, oh, I'm going to give her some beautiful flowers in that box. Beautiful. Maybe that's what you want to do. Or maybe you're like, you know what? There's going to be a kitty cat in there. I'm going to draw a kitty cat. Maybe I'm going to draw a unicorn. Maybe I'm going to draw uh, my little brother because I would mail him out uh, to you uh, in a heartbeat. Maybe that's where you're at. I don't know. Um, but, <laughs> but those are some ideas for what you could put in the box um, that you draw and uh, that you send in to me. So that's kind of the fun part of, I know that today was like a technical skill day where you're learning about form, learning about value. All right. But I'm proud of you. You learned both form and value today. Uh, and uh, you practiced it a little bit. Uh, so please uh, turn that in and don't forget to add the fun. What's in the box? If you uh, send me the description of your art, make sure you tell me what's what you draw in the box. Uh, what's in there? Uh, you guys take care and I will see you next week. Goodbye, my third grade friends.